I was thinking, like, what if Sienna was like, Dada? No, nah, she got to chill. Got to chill. <laughs> what up? Hi, guys. We're back. Yes. They tried to run us off the internet. They, <laughs> oh, my God, they did. <laughs> they didn't run They tried to run me off the yeah, internet. I don't <laughs> fuck. I'll bleep that out, maybe. Please. Anyway, welcome back to Relation Ish. Couples therapy. Couples therapy. Mm hmm. Before we go any further, it's a lot of y'all that don't subscribe. Hit subscribe. It's free. Throw a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. And hit leave the notification bell. Yes. Comment and leave, you know what I'm saying? A little notification bell so you can see our new content. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm Kadeem. I'm Caitlin. This is my boo thing, Caitlin. We call her Baitlin. That's her nickname. And I just wanted to... Um, we wanted to explain kind of why we do couples therapy. You know, yeah. we got some feedback that this isn't real therapy. Well, technically, therapy can be anything that's therapeutic to you. Yeah. Sometimes driving in my car is therapy. Therapy for you. Sometimes going to the gym and listening to music is therapy. therapy. So to say that is kind of ignorant. But um, the reason why we do these videos really is because there's kind of a lack of authenticity online right yes especially with I'm, I'm not even gonna say especially with everything that's a fact with everything. yeah everything but we wanted to talk about our relationship right we're not perfect we go through a lot of different things mm -hmm. we didn't want to be one of those couples that you only see the good you only see oh man they went to miami oh man they're in mexico oh man he bought pranks a on each you know other buying bags buying shoes buying cars going and out we do to all eat that. Yeah, but we do all that on a high level. But it's more low key f for us. Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't want to just be one of those couples doing those fun things online. Mm -hmm. We actually wanted to talk about our real issues and the mm -hmm. things that we don't always agree on. Those things that we, we, you know, what I'm saying we we have a lot of things that we're trying to work out. Like being in a real relationship is work. Mm -hmm. You guys online will listen to somebody sitting in their car telling you what a man should do, this, that, and the third, just because you like what he's saying or she's saying. And, and go with it, but people that are really going through a real relationship, talking about their real issues with you, being transparent online, that's like something that you're attacking. And we kind of wanted to let you guys know that, yo, this is therapeutic for us to get on here. And we know other people go through it. Like we had a video that was doing pretty okay about submission. Go check it out. I'm gonna put yeah. somewhere on the screen, it's gonna be a link, link to that video. But we clearly have different definitions of submission. And I think that was in very, um, I didn't know what it was. I had no idea no, what no, wait, submission on, was. Okay, my defense. bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You had a definition of, de of submission for you. We had different definitions. That's okay. In a, in a relationship, you're not going to agree on everything, right? It's a right. lot of work. We can have two different de definitions about something. Maybe one of us is right. Maybe one of us is wrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe neither one of us is right or wrong. We just have to agree to disagree. Maybe one a of us compromise. comes to that. Yeah, it's, it's a whole bunch of different things that could happen. It's nuanced in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So to her defense, that might be what submission is to her. You can't attack somebody for how they feel about something. You can just say, hey, I don't agree. Yeah. But I will admit that us doing the video um, and just watching it back just for me, like before the comments really rolled in, and the feedback that we got made me want to, just watching our interaction, mm -hmm. made me want to really dive in and be like, okay, what does it mean to really submit to a man? Like, what does that mean? What does that look like? And what does it look like for me? Like, how do I do that for him? And so, and that was just before, like I said, the comments started rolling in. So that was another thing, another reason why we wanted to do this. And we mentioned a good amount of this stuff in our intro video, but we just like touched on it very briefly. You know what I realized is our old editor, we never even put that, we didn't put the, we had a whole separate video that we never put out that I had it. I just, I literally just deleted it like two days ago, but it never got like finished. But that's neither here nor there. What I wanted to say is really, we're gonna get up here. We're gonna do couples therapy. Yeah. I might even call a real therapist, right? We might do that. But even if it's just me and her talking through something that we're working through or talking through something that you guys leave comments about that you might want to work through or hear how we talk about those type of things, yeah. that still could be therapeutic for somebody else. Some people reading a book is therapeutic. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to somebody that's licensed. To be, that's the only way to get seek therapy. That's not true. Um, so like we said, you know, relationships are hard work. Um, there's a, always going to be a difference in opinion and that's okay. And we're trying to show the work that we're putting in for people to consume and see like, oh shit, maybe I'm not editing all my curses. <laughs> I'm not doing that. 
but maybe you know hey man maybe that's something i could work through what is the mission to me what is the mission to this person that i'm dealing with um obviously there's you know clear cut there's biblical and yeah. you know, everybody doesn't subscribe to all that same stuff so we wanted to create a space where people could have these real conversations and not just you know stuff for clickbait not just stuff for an echo chamber not you know we're not the same we're far from it yeah we're very different we have very different opinions about a lot of stuff and we don't mind sharing that with you guys um but we want it to be a safe space to do yeah us. we still want it to be a, a safe space for us to be honest you could say what you want to me in the comments, yeah. but y'all gotta watch how y'all talking to her online I don't know you niggas. Dang, I'm gonna have to. I ain't gonna have to. <laughs> you definitely gotta edit that word. I don't out. know I'm all y'all. I don't know all y'all, but some of these dudes that are getting online talking about submission couldn't get their daughter to submit to them. Couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys don't take care of nothing at home. So, watch what you're talking about. Guys talking about some, oh man, she runs the house. That doesn't bother me. I know what happens in my household. So, it didn't bother me at all. But for somebody to say something about her, oh, she need to do this, she need to do that, she need to go see Kevin Samuels, go to just another podcast to hear how I feel about Kevin Samuels. Don't bring him up here. He don't have nothing to do with nothing we got going on over here, okay? Like, that's not cool. I didn't think that was cool at all. Um, I kind of let the, the comments slide because to me, like, it's feedback. But yeah. if somebody else feels some type of way about it, it's not something that we're going to, like, come on, bro. I don't want to block the comments. The comments is, like, how we get the conversation started. But some of you dudes is attacking her, and it's like, bro, where's your girl at? Like, you're in your mom's basement talking to us. Relax. No, I'm saying, but seriously, y'all got to chill. Or quoting the Bible. Everybody quote the Bible until it's time to be that way in real life. Relax. Mm -hmm. You got to chill. So... The negative feedback, I don't mind it, directed towards me, maybe directed towards the video, but the personal attacks, chill with that, bro. Like, please, it's not it's not a good place for somebody that wants to come up here and be open. All y'all not open, you're watching our video. We probably gonna lose some views because of that, but that's the truth. You're watching us. I mean, game views maybe not get maybe, a subscribe but, off of it, I don't know. But we also wanted to be able to look back at our conversations and reflect on it. And that was part of my point about um, just watching the submission video once we published it and then going back and um, just watching it before anybody had ever really seen it and just saying like, okay, let me do more research. Let me like dive yeah, into this held, for him. You held that video for a minute. She didn't want to post it. I, I, did, I knew it was going to gonna like be the one that could have made us go to the top, but she, she didn't want to post it. She didn't feel comfortable posting I'll it. I'll say why. I didn't want to post it because I felt like the video was messy. I felt like it was all over the place. The thoughts weren't organized. I didn't. They like messy. That's yeah, but they, I don't like messy. That's why they hit the button. That's why they subscribe. That's why they they were clicking. That's why know, that video has I over 36,000 like. views on my Instagram because they like messy. They yeah. like they're they're arguing with each other in the comments. They want to be messy. That's fine. Just don't direct the mess this way. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Some of our videos might get a little messy. We don't agree about a lot of no, stuff. No, you're you're absolutely right. But the messy stuff is the real stuff and the it's it's hard to put your personal, like this is very, very sensitive and very like everything that we talk about is very real. And we do wanna be as honest and as transparent about it as possible, but um, it's still like our personal life. Now me saying that I know because we're putting it out for the public to see, mm -hmm. obviously we're gonna be, you know, subjecting ourselves to both negativity, positivity and indifference. And I think that's kind of where people People are used to seeing these couples and they're like, they're not like that in real life. But or this, they see it and then even if they're just, everything's all good all the time, they're like, oh, that's what a relationship's supposed to look like. So when you see something like us, you're like, oh, y'all aren't, I'll wait for the breakup video. That was trifling, like, trifling comment. Dang. Yeah. Okay, girl. I don't know who that was. I don't know either. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to address any specific comments, but. I didn't mean to. I, I, I said that. My bad. But um, no, seriously. So I. This isn't going to be a super long video because this no. isn't actually a couples therapy session. This is more of a, hey, this is what we're trying to accomplish by doing this. Mm -hmm. um, we did go to therapy during the pandemic. Yeah. It wasn't easy. And we were pregnant at the same time. Yeah. There's a lot we want to talk about and share with you guys. But I want it to be a place where if Caitlin wants to be super, super real with y'all, you're not going to attack her. Some people, not that, that's not what they're doing this for. For her, it's more for like me and her to get on a, a space and talk things out. But we're doing it in front of you guys. So don't make it so it's not a safe spot for her to be as authentic as possible. Because to me, the authenticity is what's going to make this super fire. Yeah. And if somebody has to hold back because like I don't want to say that on camera, 
y'all not gonna get the real y'all not gonna see the real and then shit i'm not gonna know the real like because yeah we're not being real on camera and i don't even like being fake so I mean, neither one of us do, but it's just like, you know, you just, I don't know. It's just, I wish that I saw more couples talk about some of the stuff we do. I know that they do talk about it, that they have the issues, but it's like, I wonder what that looks like for somebody else. And then like, how does that help me? Is it something that can help me navigate what it is that I'm going through? And that's kind of what I thought about when we, when Kadeem actually named it, like, okay, this could be couples therapy. And I was like, okay, like that sounds really good. Like, I wish I saw another couple talking about this same a same topic, whether it be submission, whether it be fighting fair, whether it be which are um, all good videos. Go check out that fighting yeah. fair video. I'm gonna leave the link somewhere up here too. Fighting fair was a really good one. It That's was like the one that people gravitated to because it wasn't like us. It wasn't messy. We weren't yeah. like it was real. Like yo, we don't fight fair. This is how we don't fight fair. X, Y, and Z, and we gave solutions to it so people didn't want to hear them. And I know that even if we went back to watch some of our previous couples therapy videos and we like talked about it now, I think just. I don't know if views would like be different, but I think the way that we would handle it would just be different just because we sat, we talked about it. We were both able to look back on it and be like, okay, I said this, it was true for me, but I can see how that might be a problem and let me work on that. And so those are just things that I've done personally, just from looking at some of our previous videos, which was, like I said, part of the point of doing this to be able to look back and reflect and grow sure. from it. So, um, relationships are definitely hard definitely work and we just wanted to show you guys the work from just a real transparent perspective like we didn't we just didn't want to be up here i mean the the fun stuff is easy to show like go to our instagram story for that but i mean i mean we'll probably post some fun stuff up here but yeah no nah, i mean it's gonna I be mean, a lot of videos up here we do a lot of really cool stuff but yeah couples therapy we're gonna be getting to the nitty-gritty we're an imperfect couple working through issues, yeah. just like everybody else. So we're we're really looking to find ways to do that on YouTube mm -hmm. in a safe space for everybody, and then create a conversation that people can kind of look at and be like, "Oh, damn! Like, well, I didn't think of submission like that, or I didn't think of like when me and my girl are arguing and I say this, how it triggers her to do that." So we're talking about those things. Most people are talking about, hey, "Yo, he's not this. You shouldn't be with him." Whatever, whatever they're talking yeah. about. So. Or she's not this, so let me take them. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, go ahead, girl. <laughs> anyway, but with that being said, um, like I said, this isn't going to be a super long one. Couples therapy. Yeah. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Yes. Um, and be tuned in. We got some more content coming mm -hmm. very, very, very soon. Leave some comments below about some stuff that you want us to talk about in couples yeah. therapy. We have all the issues. So. All the issues. <laughs> so, and all the difference of opinions. Yeah, so all of it. Definitely. Um, let us know what y'all think. Leave some comments about some stuff for us to talk about. Yeah. Uh, let us know how y'all like the set. Yeah. yeah I fine. think this new set is... It's the same. I mean, we didn't... <laughs>